Okay, so I'm going to show you one of the unique features of Tropo. Tropo's ability to support true speech recognition applications. Um, there are two different kinds of speech grammars that you can use in a Tropo application. You can use a very simple grammar if the kind of input you want to collect is, is not that complex and pretty straightforward and you don't really want to write your own speech grammar. Or if you want to, Tropo also supports the industry standard speech recognition grammar specification format for writing speech grammars. And I'm going to show you an application that uses both of those things to collect a caller's address. Now what I have is a very simple application uh, that is written in the PHP scripting language. It is running in the Tropo cloud. Uh, you could replicate this basic logic using any one of the languages that are supported in the, uh, the Tropo platform. Ruby, Python, Groovy, uh, even JavaScript. Uh, what it does is it uses a very simple built-in Tropo grammar to collect the five-digit zip code of a caller. And then it uses that value and uh, some other components that I'm going to show you shortly to build a dynamic grammar in the much more complex speech recognition grammar specification format that has a list of street names in that zip code. Uh, I'm going to build this dynamic grammar that I'm referencing using a class library uh, that I have built uh, written in PHP that makes it somewhat easier to work with, um, with uh, more complex grammar files. Uh, when you use this application and you enter a zip code, a, a dynamically rendered file will look something like this. Uh, this is just a, a quick example that I've downloaded. And there are three basic rules to this, this grammar. Uh, the street number, the street name, and the street direction. And what this grammar allows you to do is enter uh, one or more numbers for your house number, uh, the name of your street, and this is the part of the grammar that is built dynamically from a MySQL database. Uh, and optionally, the direction. So if you live in a city or town that uses northwest, southwest, that kind of thing, this grammar will cover that. Uh, this is actually going to be built off of uh, a MySQL database that I've constructed, just a very simple listing of streets uh, with a zip code. So when I call this application, uh, I should be able to enter a house number, uh, a street number, or excuse me, a street name, uh, and an optionally a direction and it should recognize my voice. So let's give it a try. Your five digit zip code. 18752. What is your street address, beginning with your street number? 1674 Murphy Lane, Southwest. You said 1674 Murphy Lane, Southwest, 18752. Goodbye. There, so the application was able to recognize uh, both my uh, zip code, which I collected using a very simple grammar that Tropo provides all, uh, all platform developers, and also this much more sophisticated grammar that's running off of a MySQL database. So you can see with Tropo's speech recognition support, it's possible for you to build some pretty sophisticated speech recognition applications. And in this case, even though I'm using a very simple MySQL database uh, behind the scenes here, you can see how this same basic construct could be used um, to capture address input for a large city or municipality.